ASMR gaming video. I apologize for all the external sounds that you might hear during this video, but uh, my computer is being very loud and the air conditioning just kicked on and it's very hot in here, so I uh, hope it's not too distracting. Uh, some of you guys seem to like external sounds anyways, so I'm just going to roll with it. But today, 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 we're going to be taking a look at Season 3 Loadouts for you. Uh, yeah, it's been a week or so since Season... Oh, like a week and a day since Season 3 dropped. So, I'm of course talking about Warzone Season 3. And so I figured we would take a look at some of the best classes to use during this time. Although, I have to say, they have already announced that they're going to be bringing some nerfs to the Amax, the Bullfrog, and I believe the Fara. If I remember correctly, there was a third gun. I don't remember if it's the Fara or something else. But yes, there are a lot of viable weapons now. Uh, I just released it like two weeks ago, and it was kind of dumb of me to release it then, but a, a tier ranking, a tier list ranking of where I placed, you know, guns, whether they were, you know, meta, off meta, viable, uh, bad, or like not even usable. And, uh, yeah, that video didn't do very well, but now that it's season three, I figured I may as well make some classes, mess around in a little, create a class, and we'll do some serious ones, we'll do some that are just for fun, and, uh, yeah, I don't know, sit back, relax, hit that like button, you guys did really well on the likes on my last video, it's doing really well, so... There was an abnormal amount of likes, so I appreciate you guys. Let's try to hit 250 likes again on this video. But sit back, relax, and enjoy. Alright, so here we are in Warzone Season 3. And you already know, <laughs> we're still rocking the rose skin. They did, quote unquote, nerf the rose skin indirectly. Um, they basically just made everything brighter in the new season everything's more vibrant in the new season but it's still pretty much the best skin to run just because it's so dark but uh yeah say what you want but if you can't beat them join them but here are my loadouts which i have not really made them yet but we'll kind of make them on the fly you guys can have some extra commentary and button sounds and whatnot as i make them so the first class that I have is the brand new meta weapon, in my opinion. In my opinion, this is just me. But uh, the Farah, the Farah 83, got a major, major, major buff. And in my opinion, it's now the new FFAR. It's the new, you know, multi purpose weapon for close range for long range it's just really good and here are my attachments we got the cruise suppressor the spetsnaz rpk barrel the spetsnaz grip the vdv 50 round fast mag and the kgb skeletal stock i'm actually running the uh the vulture expo skin the reactive camo the ultra reactive camo uh, but it looks a little different because I have dark matter. So, uh, yeah, that is the best, the best AR in the game right now as far as multi-purpose goes. I think it's the Fara. I think it's the Fara 83, and that's how I have it set up. And then, of course, I got it paired with the Mastercraft Pellington. Yeah, I, uh, I snagged the Mastercraft Pellington, and... Uh, this thing is so good. In my mind, this is the best sniper rifle in the game. It's better than the Car 98. I promise you. I promise you. Put on these attachments and go crazy. It's basically point and click. It's basically point and click within 200 meters. It's it's so accurate. The mortal anguish. And uh, make sure you throw that 4 by on there. The best part about it is uh, that 4 by has no sniper glint. That's right, 
no sniper, Clint. So, uh, even when people are sniping at you, it looks like they're just looking at you with an AR, you know? Um, or you look like you're just looking at them with an AR, and then they just get headshot, and they're like, what the heck happened? So, you'll probably see this Bellington a lot in the future, but... So we have that with Overkill, and then we have that with Ghost. I have not used this Psykov pistol yet, just like one pistol by itself. They did nerf the Akimbo pistols, but uh, I forgot this is a uh, this is a technically a Modern Warfare pistol. They added a Modern Warfare pistol like two years later. They haven't added anything to Modern Warfare in a hot minute, so it's kind of strange that they would do that, but there's the attachments for that. It's a fully automatic pistol with 80 rounds, so uh, basically just went with the recoil control and then the recoil control there, so makes it like a full recoil build, basically just like an SMG in your pocket. And then the same far build here. So Ghost and Overkill there. Then we have the same thing. Uh, this is where I've been kind of leveling up my PPSH. It's only level 26 right now, but uh, this is probably a bad example as far as guns or classes you should use because I don't have this leveled up. So we'll maybe ignore this for now. I'm level 26. I should probably... I'm going to try and level this up this weekend, I think. In my opinion, the PPSH is not very good. It's not, of course I haven't leveled it all the way up, so I haven't used, you know, the, the fully customized BPSH, but uh, from everything that I've read and seen from, you know, the top players in the game, there's still other things that are way better, like way, 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 way better. So, uh, yeah, I, I, you know, it's a, it's a big magazine, you can have a 55 round drum, but you can pretty much have a 55 round drum on anything, including one of the next weapons that I'm going to talk about, which is the Bullfrog. So, let's go ahead and just get rid of this class. Let's just go ahead and, let's see, we'll copy and paste this down here. So now we have a, an overkill class to play with. So, um, like I said, the Fara 83, in my opinion, is a very good close range to long range weapon, um, but I have not tried it with a three by. I've seen people on TikTok use it with the, uh, they'll, you know, take off the stock and put like a, uh, a Suset multi zoom. This is uh, supposedly a solid class setup here, but I don't know. I don't know. I haven't used it for myself, so I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna verify whether that's usable or not. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make an SMG AR AR loadout now, and the SMG that seems to be meta is the Bullfrog. The Bullfrog got a buff, as if it wasn't already so good. It got another buff. You can run it with the 85 round fast mag, but Honestly, 85 rounds is so much. You can get away with running it with a 65 round to get a little bit of extra ADS because the 85 round slows it down a little bit more. Uh, you can go with the KGB skeletal stock, take the steady aim off, and throw on the Spetsnaz grip. And there you go. I'm going to go and throw on Dark Matter just because I have it. <laughs> and I always have Dark Matter on. But there you go. That is a solid 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 bullfrog class if you don't like the task force if you don't want that extra strafe speed uh i, th I would suggest uh the i think the last the last one that i read or did any research that was good the rifled i think is the next best it adds that extra damage range and or the liberator I, I can't remember which one. I just run the task force for that extra strafe speed. And, uh, of course, you get strafe speed here as well. ADS firing movement speed, so... 
definitely, definitely, definitely a very mobile weapon. And then again, you can use the Bellington with it. You can use the Bellington with just about anything. But I'm going to go and grab a new assault rifle, which also got buffed. And that's the Krig. The Krig is now one of the best assault rifles in the game. Uh, I think it's the Ranger barrel on this one. Yeah, that bullet velocity goes through the roof. Bullet velocity is going to be like the most important statistic you can have. So that Ranger barrel adds the most bullet velocity. Uh, we're going to go field agent grip. And then we're going to take the stock off. We've got this 3 by, which I think I can change the reticle on. You can change it to whatever you want. The default one's pretty good. I mean, the, the default one is fine, but you can change it to whatever you want. Again, I'm going to put dark matter on it because I have dark matter. And then for the last uh, attachment, we're just going to throw on the 60 round mag. And that is a very, very solid long range assault rifle. There's a little bit of kick, but it's manageable. It's manageable. So, bullfrog. Bullfrog. The bullfrog and Krig. But if you don't like the bullfrog, you can always do this. Uh, let's see, loadout options, copy and replace. Put it down here. You can always replace that bullfrog with, like I said, the ever so useful Farah 83. And we'll go back. RPK barrel, crew suppressor, Spetsnaz, no, Spetsnaz grip, 50 round fast mag, and the KGB. So boom, double AR loadout, which last season pretty much everybody was running, you know, FFAR and um, FFAR with the, uh, like the AUG or the M16. So it's not so absurd to think that people could run dual ARs still. You you definitely don't run out of ammo as fast as you think you would, but it is kind of an issue. But next up, you can also do the exact same thing with this loadout. Uh, and if you don't like the Krig, if the Krig isn't really your cup of tea, then take it off and put on the Amax. Which, like I said in the beginning of the video, the Amax is soon to get a nerf, but for the time being, it's still really good with these attachments. If you can manage the recoil with the Commando foregrip, then go for it. I like the Ranger foregrip since this is more of a long range AR. Gives it just a little bit more recoil control and a little bit more aiming stability those long-range engagements and then I'm gonna throw on the blue tiger because it looks so good it looks so good this was part of the jigsaw set that I bought but there you go double AR again uh, next up we got the AX50 I love this gun I really do of course you guys know that you guys that follow me on TikTok know that I, I made a TikTok that went absolutely crazy with the AX50 and uh, even my most recent TikTok, where I was playing with Juju, uh, I was using the AX50. So I really like the AX50, but let me think. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, well, really five solid meta classes that you can use, although they're pretty much all the same thing, like Fara, Fara Krig, Bullfrog Krig, Fara by itself, Fara Bellington. And then Farah A Max. So maybe we go and find something else for you guys to use. Which there's yeah. I was already using the uh, this is usually this bot these bottom two classes are the ones that I usually like to change up. Uh, these are my floater classes where I'll pretty much just put on like whatever I'm feeling at the at the time being and just run with it. So. Um, next, we will just make a class for fun. Let me just take a look.
Bug Gear. Ah, uh, the AK got a buff, and I've been melted by the AK. Let's make an AK class. Let's make an AK class real fast. We'll take, uh, we'll put the Gru Suppressor on the barrel. Um, the RPK barrel is probably going to be the best bet. Usually this last barrel is the best one for just about everything. Um, the Spetsnaz grip to kind of combat the recoil that the last barrel gives us. And then we'll take the glue, ra the, the Gru Elastic Wrap off and put on the 60 round fast mag. And then you can use it with no sight. Uh, you can put on a KGB skeletal stock if you wanted to. Or you can use it with the 3 by which I've seen some people do. There's a default green AK-47 that has a 3 by on it. Um, I'm not really good with it because it kicks so much, but I've been melted by it. Literally melted by it on multiple occasions. So we can, you, you know, depending on how you want to run it, you can throw a 3 by on there. Or if you want to, you know, run it close range, you could throw a microflex on there. Or if you don't want to run any sight at all, because the AK does have a pretty solid iron sight, you can run the KGB skeletal stock. Or if you want some extra ADS, there's always the serpent wrap. The serpent wrap is pretty undefeated as far as ADS goes. So that doesn't look too bad. So we'll rock that. And again, you can rock it with the bullfrog, which I have the 85 round on here. Uh, serpent wrap, groove suppressor, task force, all that. But you guys already saw that. So let's make an LC10 class. Let's make an LC10 class. And we'll go with the field agent grip. The 55 round mag. I don't know if the salvo slows it down anymore or speeds it up. Uh, I don't know, honestly. Last I checked, the fast mags slow down the ADS. I don't know if that nerf was solely for the FFAR or if it was for guns across the board. So um, I've started using just like the non-fast mags for extra ADS and just getting used to the, you know, the reload time. But we're going to go with the uh, task force barrel again, although the rifled is the one that has the most damage range. But for SMGs, strafe speed is pretty important, so we're going to go with the task force. And then you can go with the whatever stock you want. I would suggest the no stock for the sprint to fire time. There's still really no recoil um, on this gun, even with the no stock. So it's still manageable. But you can always do a servant wrap for extra ADS speed. And that makes it extremely fast. Or if you want to go with a red dot, you can always run a red dot. The microflex is my favorite, but the snap point and the hawks, hawk spore are also pretty much the same thing. But uh, I'm going to run it with no stock. So I would, I would not recommend having two weapons with no, you know, no magnification. That's going to be a super aggro class. You're going to have to do some sort of damage from, from long range, so we'll put the three by on there. And then we got the, the the, um, the LC-10 with, you know, no stock. So there's another class. A lot of people have been saying that the Kilo is back. And uh, I have a strong feeling that once the Amax gets nerfed, the Kilo is going to make a triumphant return to the meta. Because I've heard a lot of people talk about it already. And I think people are going to be back on this, um, back on the Kilo, as soon as that Amax gets gets nerfed. It, it, it just is an absolute beam, and it still hits pretty hard, so I wouldn't be surprised if you see this exact 
meta this exact duo right here although the bullfrog like i said is going to be getting nerfed as well so maybe we go uh we could pair it with you could pair it with the ppsh if you have yours leveled up all the way uh let's find another smg to maybe build you know what i'm not seeing any so let's just go with the mac 10 so the mac 10 Standard 53 round drum mag, field agent grip, um, muzzle agency suppressor, task force barrel, and then the raider stock or the SAS combat stock. Um, I am more of a fan of the combat stock on the MAC-10, so we'll throw that on. And there's another... That is a, that's actually a nasty class now that I'm looking at it. This thing is gonna hit hard. You're gonna be able to you're gonna be able to melt their shields from long range. And the Mac 10, when they have no shields, is kind of it's kind of like cheating. It's kind of like cheating. It's like two and a half shots and they're dead basically. Once you melt their shields, it's it's you're pretty much golden from there on. But uh. Yeah, that's a nasty class right there. I'm not going to lie. I might use that today on stream. Um, and then we got two classes left. What can we do with these last two classes? <laughs> somebody, somebody challenged me the other day in one of my live streams. They donated uh, $2, a $2 super chat and said, get a win with the Odin in the KSP and I actually did oh I didn't realize I, I unlocked the short barrel oh dang I kind of want to try this out the short barrel on the Odin kind of make it like an SMG type build that could be fun but I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys what I ran for um for the challenge we had the merc the 25 rounds and then i had the three by on there so that was my ar was the odin and then the smg which again this is like a meme class was a ksp so uh this is what i had right here i don't think i had a I think I had a Raider stock on it. Yep, that was it. Or the combat stock, one or the other. No, it was the Raider stock. It was definitely the Raider stock. Um, yeah. <laughs> and I actually got a solo win with this loadout. Uh, unbelievably. Unbelievably. I have no idea how I did it. But I did it. Uh, <laughs> I don't remember where it was in the live stream. I think... I think you can probably go back and watch it, but yeah, that was a lot of fun to use. And then last but not least was another suggestion that someone gave me during that live stream. It was the Ram 7, and it was the, not the Ranger Barrel, which I've always used it with the Ranger Barrel. It was this Eclipse Barrel, uh, monolithic. foregrip, the 50 round mags, and the TAC laser, this thing right here, is kind of a laser beam. Again, it's one of those multi-purpose ARs. It can be long range, it can be short range. Uh, it's it's kind of similar to the FARA in a way, just a little bit different. And then for the secondary, which I'm going to throw overkill on, we will go with like, since it is so multi-purpose, we'll go with a sniper rifle. And um, again, the AX-50 is slept on. I feel like it's still slept on. It doesn't excel in any category. Like it's not the best for damage. It's not the best for bullet velocity. It's not the best for ADS. It's not the best in any category, but it's really good still in every category um and you can do you can do a full ads build like that well i 
guess technically you could do like a an even more ADS build if you did like wait is that an even is that even farther wait oh that's actually not even the best barrel it looks like this one adds even more the arms pro and it gives you more movement speed I don't know I don't know maybe it maybe it slows down the ADS even more I want to keep the factory barrel on because that's just what I've been using and then the Singard Arms Assassin for the extra ADS. You could technically do like the factory barrel. For it's basically just like gonna make it a little bit faster ADS. But I've never used that. I've never tried that. Maybe I should try that on stream as well. But there it is. There's the uh, the AX50. If you don't like the variable zoom, you can always just use. Oh wait, oh wait, wait. No, I'm 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 wrong here. ADS. There we go. Extra ADS with the stippled grip tape, grip tape, and you just have a normal sight. My mistake. My mistake. So there you have it. There are ten classes <laughs> that just made uh, all right now live. This is like the only one that maybe is questionable, but everything else very very usable uh maybe this one's not so usable either but you'd be surprised how good that odin can be uh everything is pretty much usable though so yeah again be on the lookout for incoming nerfs to the amax the bullfrog and i believe they may actually be nerfing the fara already because it's such a problem like everybody's using it which doesn't make any sense to me because the FFAR was the way it was for like a season and a half and they never nerfed it. So I don't know how they're going to nerf the Fara so quickly. I, I guess they're doing better about staying on top of things, but as a whole, the game feels pretty balanced right now. And so I'm kind of nervous of this weapon tuning, but we'll see how it goes. That being said, guys, make sure you like the video, subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you all in the next one. So, if you're watching this during the day, then have a relaxing rest of the day. And if you're watching this at night, then have a great night's sleep. And good night.